1MDB has sparked embezzlement and money laundering investigations across One of the biggest corruption countries. scandals the world has ever seen. What may be the biggest financial scam in the history. Of corrupt 1MDB officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. Follow us as we bring you into the courtroom where the biggest financial scandal in Malaysian history is being heard. By the Malaysian Insight, this is the Najib Razak 1MDB trial, and I'm Patrick Teo. An ex Bank Group Managing Director told the Kuala Lumpur High Court that he did not dare ask why Najib Razak was about to receive a 100 million US dollar or 465 million ringgit donation from Saudi Arabia in 2011. Chia Tek Kwang, who is the 39th trial witness, said this when he was questioned by lead defence counsel Mohammad Shafi Abdullah on his visit to the former Prime Minister's home to assist in opening an Ambank account for the now convicted felon. <laughs> It's Wednesday, October 5th, and Najib's One Malaysia Development Burhat trial resumed at the Kuala Lumpur High Court this morning. Najib is standing trial for graft involving 2.28 billion ringgit in 1MDB funds. He faces 25 charges, 4 for abuse of power and 21 for money laundering for offences committed between 2011 and 2013. He's now serving a 12-year jail term in Kajang Prison for the SRC case. Chia said that Najib had informed him about the 100 million US dollar donation from Arab Saudi that would be remitted once his account is active. He said that he did not dare to press further on the purpose of the account or on the donation. Shafi had questioned Chia if he had further queried Najib on the contribution from Saudi Arabia as he had to answer to Bank Nagara Malaysia. Chia replied that all he knew was that it was a donation and left immediately after getting Najib to sign several documents to open up a bank account. Shafi then asked Chia about his trip to Najib's home and what had transpired during the meeting. Chia said that at that time, he was taken to Najib's private residence in Kenny Hills to discuss the matter of his bank account. I was picked up near my home and there was a convoy of cars to Najib's home. It was then I also saw Low Take Joe, better known as Joe Low, in one of the cars. I went into the house and then to a separate room from Joe Low. He did not talk to me, and I did not talk to him at all, he told the court. Chia also said that Lo had no dealings with Am Bank. During the prosecution's opening statement, they claimed that 2.08 billion ringgit originated from companies linked to the fugitive businessman Joe Lo. However, the defense is claiming that the money is a donation from a friendly Arab nation. Yesterday, Chia told the court that he had met former Bank Nagara Malaysia Governor Zeti Akta Aziz to inform her of Najib's incoming funds. He said after meeting Najib, he made an appointment to meet with Zeti. Chia said the purpose of the meeting was to inform her of the opening of Najib's account and the incoming funds of 100 million US dollars from Saudi Arabia. He said the meeting with Zeti was discreet and it was only the two of them discussing Najib's account, since this matter was a secret and involved the interests of the Prime Minister. It was important that Zeti was aware as it involved a politically exposed person, meaning it involved the interests of the country, he told the court. He said Zeti took note and requested that it should be done in accordance with existing banking and BNM regulations. The trial will resume tomorrow, with Chia again taking the stand. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by the Malaysian Insight. It was written by Noel Acharyam, and I'm Patrick Teo. Mm-hmm.